프리비어슬리 온더 레전드 오브 젤더 오커리노 오브 타임 미스터 퀘스트 Anything is possible once it's swift to old spice. I'm on a horse. And now, the continuation. Yes, this is my hello. This is Let's Play Ocarina of Time Master Quest. And we have a horse. I have a horse. Alright, stop Epona. Stopping and getting off Epona, Epona is a pretty awkward moment. It's I mean, also awkward as getting on to Epona. But let's visit, let's visit peaceful Kakariko village. Wait, what's with the music? What's with the sky? Oh my god, this place is depressing. What the hell happened to you? Oh my god, the tree grew. What's it, what the hell happened to you? No, no, no. And are those the guys from Hyrule Castle? So yes, the Hyrule Castle people like fled to this area. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so this is pretty much a new castle town, except it's not. And it's pretty depressing. Oh, by the way. Yes, there's a secret hole here. I'll get into that later on. Right now, uh, yes, you. Let's see, um, do I, I'll do it later. I'll do that whole thing in one go, and why do I sound so boring and monotonous and boring? Let's go to gra let's go to the graveyard. Now, as you know, the Kakariko Village music when you're an adult is kind of a bit more similar to the Kakariko Village song in Link to the Past, with the do 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 do. Where does this Dompe's hut? Hey, Dompe, what's up? Dompe? Let's see what he wrote here. Let's read his diary. Of oh, hell yeah, I do. Whoever reads this, please enter my grave. I'll let you have my stretching, shrinking, shrinking keepsake. I'm waiting for you. When you're a child, um, when you read his diary, he talks about this springy thing that he goes like spring. I probably should have shown up, but yes. Um, wait. He, he said it's his grave. Like, is he digging inside this dig a grave? Nope. The grave digger died. Yes, the grave digger died. Who's gonna grave? Who's gonna dig my grave? Oh, magic plant, magic bean grew into a lily pad. Why the hell aren't you a beanstalk? Damn it! I want my gold. But yes, these magic beans will grow into, will grow up into p amazing lily pads, and those lily pads will take you to places that are awesome, that might give you heart pieces or more gold, gold dollars or crap. But yes. Let's pull up this grave with flowers because flowers means cool. And where the hell are we? Question mark. Huh? I don't know. I don't know where I am. And, oh my god, you're dead. You're dead! Ah! Hey, hey, young man. Are you fast on your feet? You know, I like my original Dompe voice, but I can't, like, bring it back. Well, I mean, I can try, but yeah. I mean, I look like it, but I'm confident in my speed. Let's have a race. Follow me if you desire. Or whatever he said. Oh god, I thought you were gonna jump into the fire. But yes, this part is... This is a race, but you can't win, but... There's no pressure for this part. All you need to do is make sure you keep up to him, and not get screwed over when, you know, a door closes on your face. Which should happen only if you suck. And chances are you'll probably suck the first time you play this. So just follow the leader, follow the ghost. And don't go crazy because you've, you know, followed the ghost. And yeah. Now I remember in Josh Jepsen's LP about this little shortcut that can save you a lot of time. But why do you need to save time? Because you'll be doing this whole thing over again. I'm serious, you're doing this whole thing over again. Except with the time limit. But yes, um... Why do he read it? Like they're going like oh in the background or something. Fifty six seconds, nice. If only if this was the time and uh, time actually mattered, but no. The time of this race was fifty seven seconds. Hey hey, young man, you are very quick to be able to keep up with me. Hey hey hey. As a reward, I'm gonna give you my treasure. It's called the hook shot. Ooh, the hook shot. Spring on the chain will pull up to you any spot where it's hooked six. Does it sound cool? It kinda sounds nasty, but yeah, I live here now, so come back again sometime. I'll give you something cool. One more thing. One more thing! Be careful on your way back. 
<laughs> oh, the treasure chest didn't form beneath my feet. But yes, um, don't be sad. But he lives here, and now we got a cool treasure. What could it be? We got the we got one of the best items in the game, the hook shot. It's kind of like the boomerang in that it can bring stuff to you, but it can you can also. Basically, it's a great way to get to places that you can't get to without, you know, like, it's good for... Okay, I'm totally botching up the explanation for a very simple item. Seriously, like, let's say there's a torch here. This would happen, yeah. But imagine, like, the torch is, like, you know, way up there. You'd be able to get to there, as long as this, you know, you see the red target. Also, the hookshot is a very freaking amazing weapon. It's, like, so powerful in this game. But yes, these are blocks of time, which you've seen before. Primarily in my Gold Skulltula Rampage. You know, in episode 21? Which is not so long ago since this, this episode. Episode level. Episode 25, not level. But where does this lead to? Wait a minute, this sounds familiar. Are you telling me. Are you telling me that the windmill is attached to a grave? Who built this crap? Whose idea was this, huh? This is some sick humor right here. But damn, you look angry. Yes, I'm I would be angry too if my, you know, windmill hut is attached to a grave. Grrr, I'll never forget what happened on the day seven years ago. Grrr, it's on an Ocarina Kid's fault. Ocarina Kid? You mean Saria? Oh he. I'm gonna mess him up! Oh dear. Mess him that does not sound good. He kinda of rem reminds me of Groundkeeper Willy, like what? You got an ocarina! But no, I'll just get stick to the gruff voice. What? You got an ocarina! What the hell? What the heck? Da -da 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 -da. That reminds me of that time, seven years ago. Back then the main kid came here and played a strange song in purple. It messed up this windmill. I'll never forget this song. So the song messed up the windmill? Then why are you playing this song right now? You're gonna mess up the windmill. But this is actually one of the best songs ever. The song of storms, which makes it rain inside. What? What? It's raining inside. What? 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 He learned the song of storms. What does it do? Make it rain. Also, this goes like hella fast. Like we're like he. Whoa! Dude, I wanted to get off here, but. Uh, physics! Damn you, physics! Damn you, angular momentum! Yeah. But now I want to go back to Dombey's grave because, as he said, he has one more prize. And as I said, it's when time matters. So, cut! I wonder what happened to the kid who, like, used to be here? Did he die along with Dombey? Like, no, no, my lover died! I'm gonna die with him! Ew. And then nobody dug his grave because Dombey was dead. So. Why do I have to pull his grave back again? Like, wasn't it already pulled back? I guess, you know, in respect for Dompe, Link put it back from... I don't know. Let's have another race. And why did you sound like a Poe? God damn it! That's what happens if you run into fire. Remember, kitties, don't run into the fire. Otherwise, it'll burn you and mess you up. Like it's messing me up right now. God! Um, yeah. So... This time, time matters, otherwise you won't get a good prize. And this is for a prize, of course, of course. You want me to go right here? I remember how Josh just- Okay, seriously? Are you serious? Actually, I'm making good time. I'm like, yeah, I'm making good time. Actually, I'm, I'm not sure, because- Okay, I'm not making good time. God damn it! Come on, I should- Why am I doing worse when it matters? Why am I doing worse when it matters? I mean, there's like a hookshot target I can go hookshot to, but I'm not sure if I'll make it. Okay, I'm actually getting nervous now. Let's see, can I make it? Can I make it? No, screw you. Screw life! I'd rather race with the dead again than live. Okay, don't jump into the fire like last time, Link. Jeez. Of course I have to mess up when it matters. It's like, you know, Majora's Mask, whenever, like, you know, I play a minigame or some sorts, I would lose the first time. And it would frustrate me, and I would kill baby rabbits. And such. Go right here, right here. 
fire! Why the hell? Why? And I hear Rita going like, oh, oh. They sound so orgasmic, like. Okay, are you serious? I'm not gonna make it this time again. God damn it! Uh, why am I messing up so bad? Why is this happening to me? Why does everything crappy have to happen to me? I mean, if I... Okay, that was unintentional, but at the same time, a blessing. Let's do this again! Uh, of course, of course, of course, it has happened to me. Of course, Murphy's... Murphy's Law. Anything that could happen to you, will happen. Especially bad stuff. I... Murphy's Law. Murphy's Law. Excuse me while I go hang myself. In fact, just die, Link. Die. The door will kill you. Link got killed by a door. Hey. <sighs> Stop Why? Don't go right here. And then left. Okay, that's where I got stuck for like the longest time. Oh god! Why? Are you fing kidding me? You placed a fireball right above my head as it was coming down. And I was running into it because of trajectory and shit and all. Are you serious? This is not what I need. What are you, like the snowman in Banjo Kazooie in Freeze Easy Peak? Like I swear, no snowmen are cheap. Why? Because they can shoot snowballs at you with perfect accuracy. Like they can know where you're going. Go, 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 go. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, oh, oh. One second later, and I would, wouldn't have made it. But yes, you know the snowman in the Freeze Easy Peak stage? Yes, they can, like. They seem to know where you're going to go next, so they seem to aim into your trajectory. And, you know, they hit you. Like, they hit you with such perfect accuracy, they know where you're going to be. Like, they know where you're going to go and all. And that was, yeah. Like, that was just, like, that mo that one fireball that wasn't yummy is a complete bitch. And it reminded me of the snowman from Freeze Easy Peak. I don't know, it was just a bitch move. A bitch fish move. Is bitch fish becoming a thing? Now I'm gonna make it night. So as you can see, they completed the build. They, they completed the building here, which is amazing since you know the workers are like lazy asses and all. So I'm surprised they got anything done. Period. Durr. So as yes, there's um nothing much for this episode, I guess since I probably had more planned, but that one race was a complete. Oh, come on. Why did you do that, Link? Why, Link? Why? Okay. Link? Link. I know that you have undergone puberty and that you were unable, you weren't awake to experience it. So I know that your awkwardness would have to come about now and that is scary. That is cool though. That is scary cool. Yay. So aim up to here. So this is supposedly Impa's house. I mean it is Impa's house. Or it was Impa's house. This is where we found that one heart piece with the cow after you know, fighting the owl to here. But yes, this is one cool thing about the hookshot. It one hit chaos the gold skulltulas in the face, man. In the face. In the face. So as you can see, hookshots are very, very, very useful. Wow, slicing the building open. Yeah. <laughs> Take that, construction workers. I'm going to destroy your building with a flaming sword of hate. Because I hate. Oh my god. Put a shirt on. Or, I guess you already have it. Okay. Weird. Never mind. I thought he didn't have a shirt on, but yeah, your beard is weird. Hello, man. Stop dancing. Hello, man. What do you have to say? Zzz. Doing all right. Oh, sorry to make you wrong. Dreaming about your daughter. A bitch. Yeah, whatever. So, this is the fat lady. Look at him. The man with the beard. I think he was fired from this job at the ranch. He's always this. Oh, he's not talking about Richard? I mean, she's not talking about Richard. My bad. I mean, you know her dog? Yeah, Richard died. Oh my god, again, adorable. How could you? How could you? I might as well sh show this. I'll show it off now. 
And like I have no more use for rupees, so you're gonna get rupees here. Now what do you find here? In the secret passage. You look at the walls, they're like sliming. Oh my god, are you serious? Let's get in range. Like all this time, there were zombies under the village. Peaceful Kakariko village, my ass! Jeez. I knew the town was always haunted. I mean, it's not right next to a graveyard, but yeah. That's just messed up, man. Like, kids live above ground, and there are freaking zombies here! What's wrong with you? And inside is actually 100 rupees, so yeah. That's a secret that not a lot of people have shown on video. And I don't know if they know about it. Especially because it would grow, like the Stone of Agony helps. So it's, I think that'll be it for this episode. Um, in terms of progress now, just not a lot has been made, but you got one of the coolest items. Next time, however, we'll be going down to... Here. So, let's see how home has changed over the last, over the last seven years. And will we meet Saria? Find out next time!